this is Carlisle. Welcome back to Carlisle Times 2. So, we are going to continue our adventures of chimps. And kind of one of the other things people have asked for is to learn how to beat uh, the different chimps maps without a hero. So, let's keep ourselves moving. Let's go with this one here. So, this is, uh, let's call it, this is called... Um, logs so I'm gonna write over my little Carlisle on my map that we were doing all right so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we have to make up for not having our Sauda so let's start by maybe putting a ninja right here let's go ahead and get it going let's see if I have it on auto start let's go ahead and put it on auto start I think I can do that And of course, we're going to want to follow up as soon as possible with a tax shooter. <clears throat> I think we can get this one pretty darn quick. There we go. It should be, there we go. So let's put this one maybe about right here. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to get an alchemist down. Uh, we need the alchemist to be able to handle lead balloons later on. Right now, these two can pretty much handle the load. <clears throat> I think we'll get it on this run here. And we're going to put it just immediately above our ninja. There we go. Let's put it right about here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start amping everybody up. We'll start with our ninja. Let's get it to a 201 to get started. We'll go ahead and save up a little here. And of course we have to make sure we have the right team so that when our first Moab comes through on round 40, we have enough that we can stop it and what it breaks down into uh, without having our hero. So like I said, we're going to do a 201 to get started. Go ahead and get a little range there. <clears throat> then we'll get our sharp shurikens. There we go. All right, let's head over to our tax shooter and let's get it to a uh, 220. Go. Now we're going to go to a 220 on our alchemist. And see, now we're all set for those lead balloons when they come through. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to put hot shots on here, so we can take it to a three two zero, and then we're going to head back over to our ninja. There we go. <clears throat> so now we're going to save up. It's about nine hundred and change for our three zero one, and then once we get that, we're going to go back to our alchemist for a three two zero. And of course, before round 40, we're going to take our ninja and our alchemist both up to four tiers. There we go. Jump back over here. See, there we go. Round 28, getting those lead balloons. Definitely need to make sure you have something down to answer that. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're just going to save. So round 31... 
and about 29 and change for the ninja and about 32 and change for our alchemist so we've got a little to save up here uh probably around end of 35 somewhere in 36 we'll probably get our ninja up and then towards 38 uh we should be able to get our alchemist all the way up There we go. Okay, and one more to go. So now our ninja is at a 401. <clears throat> Round 36. We're going to take our alchemist up. Okay, we're in 38 now, so we're going to be pretty close. There we go. So now we're just going to save. Uh, let's go ahead, actually, while we have some time here, let's go ahead and put our wizard in here. We're just going to let it add up. Nothing to worry about at this juncture. Of course, here comes our Moab. It's going to hit through there. Boom. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get our tax shooter up to a 420. It's going to come down pretty quick. There we go. <clears throat> Let's work on our wizard. Let's go to a 0 to 4. Almost there. Let's drop down a monkey village. Let's put it yeah, maybe about right here. Let's give it a bigger radius. Let's give it a one two zero for right now. There we go. Now let's uh, try to get a Gila pilot. Let's see if I can set it right beside our alchemist. Hopefully I can fit it in there. Perfect. And within range. Perfect. Good. So now we're going to take this to a 203. Pretty quick. And we're going to put our last item down. Let's go ahead and put a spike factory, see if I can fit one in there. There we go. Let's do a bottom two first, place it on smart, and let's get it to a two. There we go. We'll leave it there for right now. And now we're just going to save up, and what we're going to do is we're going to be taking our Gila pilot up to a 205 Comanche commander. We'll also be taking our wizard up to a zero to five uh, Prince of Darkness. So we have about a little over 9,000 that we have to have for our Tier 4 Comanche Defense. There we go. <clears throat> now we're going to save up. Now, a couple things we're going to be doing in this match. We will eventually take this, our Spike Factory, up to a 402. We will eventually take this to a 130. And we will obviously be going to a uh, 205 here. And we're only at around 59. And as you can see, nothing is getting through. It's a pretty solid defense.
course, getting our Comanche Commander is going to cost about 34 and a half. And, of course, our Wizard getting it to a Prince of Darkness is a little over 28, roughly 28 and a half. But we're going to get that pretty quick. And, of course, the question comes up sometimes, do you run your, or do you, you know, amp up your... Uh, your Gila Pilot or your Wizard to a Tier 5 Tower first. And I generally like to have my Comanche Commander in place, but I have alternated and used the Prince of Darkness, and it pretty much you can go either way. Both of them are equally, well, in different ways, but they both are pretty powerful towers, you know, when they get to their fifth tier. So if you feel more comfortable throwing down your Prince of Darkness first, you could do that. I prefer running Comanche Commander going into round 80 because it won't take long after that, you know, to get our, uh, our, our Prince of Darkness. The biggest thing being that you have both of them and I would say also your Monkey Intelligence Bureau in place, you know, before round 90. I think that's probably the most important thing. And then you can follow up by finishing out your Spike Factory. Okay, I got about 14,000 to go before we get our first Tier 5, our Comanche Commander. Again, we're only at round 70, but it's going to be, you know, I think 75, 76, 77 before we get that. Now, again, this would be where if you wanted to take your wizard up to the tier 5 tower, uh, you're going to do it here pretty shortly, roughly, you know, give or take, into this round, uh, beginning of 75. You know, for instance, right here. You know, it's not quite there, but once this round is over, there you go. See, we could do that. But like I said, I like to hold out my preferences for the Comanche Commander. And we're only a little over 4,000 away from that. So, and as you see, I mean, it's really holding up. So, you know, it, it's, I mean, again, it really kind of comes down to your personal preference. Sometimes it looks really scary trying to come through. You know, in worst case scenario, if you really felt compelled and it looked like it was going to sneak through, you could always just amp it up really quick. But here we go. We're almost there. We're around 77. We're about to trigger this. It's going to happen. There we go. It should be. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So now we have the death machines. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're obviously going to take up our wizard to a Prince of Darkness. We're only at 78. You know, and we're already in process. We've got about 25,000, give or take, until we get our Prince of Darkness. And of course, we're going to follow up immediately with our Monkey Intelligence Bureau and then completing our Spike Factory. And if we, you know, just for fun, we may throw a second Spike Factory down. Since we aren't using a hero, you know, we can always throw a second one down uh, with a middle path for the Spike Storm ability in case, you know, something were to try to sneak through at the end. Okay, so we're almost round 80. And so, of course, round 80 is when things start getting a little crazy. <clears throat> of course, it'll be 80 and then 90, 95. Those, you know, those two rounds are pretty crazy. And then, of course, 98, 99, and 100 rounding it out. Okay, about ten, less than 10,000 to go. And one of the things about the Prince of Darkness is it really, it's really going to be you know, almost the icing on the cake here because, you know, once it's there, it can pretty much whatever 
the Comanche commander doesn't take care of, it pretty much stops. They work really well in concert together. And as you see, our Gila pilot is, is you know, taking the, you know, absorbing the benefit of the alchemist. Let's go ahead and get our Prince of Darkness now. Uh, so a zero to five. But you see the benefits right there. You see the different things that it's benefiting from. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get our Monkey Intelligence Bureau next. There we go. And I've got the camo detection. And we're only on round 85. So now we're going to go ahead and amp up our spike factory. There we go. So we have our 302. Now we're going to go to a 402. So we're coming up around 89 now. <clears throat> About 2,000 away. Okay, here's 90. This is where you start to see some of the fun begin. And then it was over like that. Okay, so here we go. We have that in place now. Now let's go ahead and stick one more down just for fun. Let's place it maybe, let's just put it right here. Let's do a middle path. Let's do a bottom two just to get the smart spikes going. We're gonna go ahead and get a zero for two on this. There we go, and one more to go. Okay, now we have it set in place. We have Spike Storm if we need to throw it down. Probably won't, but it's always good to have. Again, we're running without a hero. And of course, a Sauda hero is you know superb, especially in your early rounds. Uh, not as you know, not as effective, I guess, in the later rounds. Although Sauda does have some oomph still with the abilities. Okay, now we're around 96. And we're only three rounds away, so we're getting there. 98 is going to be the next crazy round. Here we go. So now the fun is about to begin. Can we have our spike factory, you know, ready to go if we need to? I don't think we're going to need it, but, you know, it's there. Everything's just being crushed as it comes through. Ninety nine, here we go. And finally, round one hundred. And of course, your two primary driving forces here will be the Comanche Commander and Prince of Darkness. 
and see how long it takes for it just to absolutely break up. There we go. Let's go. Oh, it looks like it's about to happen. Maybe in this curve. Ah, it went a little further than I thought. There it goes. And ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we are almost at the finish line. There it goes. And that is all she wrote. So as you see, again, you know, another chimps map uh, that you can win without a hero. Uh, you know, and, and what makes that really good is that if you haven't been able to obtain, you know, too many heroes, for instance, you don't have a Sauda or, or, you know, Corvus or things like that, you know, you can still do it. So, you know, if you haven't won and you get to use this and you beat it, congratulations. And uh, if it's the first time beating it and you use this, please let us know. If you have another strategy, also let us know. And of course, until next time, you know, be good, be safe and peace out.